Here we go in three. We're back on this week in sports. Can you believe it? I got my cousin here as always as a what special up? guest referee, making what sure up? everything goes down proper. This is episode million or whatever it is. We've done a bunch of these, and this is one of the most important ones, most gorilla ones we've ever done. We're yeah, sitting here in a gazebo. Yeah, where, where are we? Yeah. What in the? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna post a picture of of what we've been doing here. This is this is quite incredible. Some, some behind the scenes shit. Some behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. <so laughs> we're funny. making it work, man. We, we got to make it work. Yeah. We're making this work, and we'll get right down to it. I just came off one of the most incredible experiences of my life this past weekend, Canada Day weekend. I was I announced at the Pinocchio Stampede in front of freaking so many people. Was it like 87th year or some shit like that? 87th year of the Pinocchio Stampede. That's wild. And I got the opportunity, uh, thanks to Kimberly Breton, shout out to Kimberly, um, giving me the opportunity to announce because she set, she organized this uh, Indian Relay Showcase at the Pinocchio Stampede. And like I said, it, I, I like someone's got to pinch me. I don't even think it's real, honestly, still right now. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, holy shit. So we'll get right into it then. Yeah, yeah. Start from the beginning. Start dog. from the beginning here. Okay, so I get the call last week. I already knew it was coming. Like, I knew, I, I thought it was going to be re- announcing the last two days. Mm-hmm. Like, there was gonna, they had another announcer for the first two days, and I was going to announce the last two days. Right. I get the call last week on, like, Wednesday. Like, yo, we need you now. Our announcer's, like, sick with the cold. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'm I was I'm ready. Right? And this is like two days in already, right? This yeah, oh well, yeah. The Pinocchio, yeah. Pinocchio Stampede starts on like Monday, goes to Sunday with Chuck Wiggins, and it's a rodeo, right? And I've never been to the Pinocchio Stampede before, but I knew I knew that I was going to be announcing there, but I didn't know. It just kind of I just got thrown right into the fire. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just got tossed right on that horse. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. So I get the call Wednesday Wednesday to go. Thursday, get all my shit together, get it, get down to Pinocchio like three hours prior to showtime and had to scramble, had to write a script, had to make notes. And I knew the Pinocchio stampede was popular. I mean, you yeah, see, yeah. you see advertisements for it down highway two yeah. all day, right? People from the States and shit come by, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. it's, it's huge. It's, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew it was popular, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize how popular it was. Yeah. So I get down. I get finally get down to the to to the campground there. I camped there, which is another story that I'll never forget. I I camped down there, and I had three hours to prepare, and then I wrote a script, and we're rolling up. We have VIP access, obviously. We go we go backstage, and I'm like, holy shit! There's that many people there. <laughs> I'm like, couldn't holy. believe it. You said it was just like trailers, as far as I can see. Yeah. Apparently. Well, I seen yeah, when we rolled up. I seen the trailers everywhere. Right. Yeah. But as soon as we roll up to the grandstands, I see the fucking the crowd that's there. Actually, how many people are how there? How many people are sitting yeah. there watching? Yeah. Butts and seats. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> here we fucking go. Oh, so and you're like you're like you're like you're you're right on the field. You're in the booth. You're like right on ground level. I was, right, yeah, right in the horse shit. I was right in front of everybody. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, yeah. It was the, it's the craziest freaking thing I've I've ever been a part of is in my sports broadcasting career. That's so tight. And so like we're waiting, they, they they time everything down to like the minute, and we're waiting to get put on for the gate to open. And I'm standing there looking at the crowd for like we're waiting for like. I don't know, ten minutes or something, just waiting there, right? Yeah. I'm looking at the fucking crowd. Can't believe it. And I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> is this actually fucking I'm like pacing back and forth. Yeah. I'm fucking nerve wracked to shit. Yeah. No preparation. No, I had well, I had I the mean, script. Yeah, yeah. You had but like this this was by far the biggest crowd I've ever been apart in front of. Yeah. So I'm like fucking losing my mind beforehand, feeling like Eminem and, and fucking eight mile. Yeah. Like I'm about to puke almost. No kidding. Yeah, dude, yeah, I was yeah. fucking nervous as and shit. And it was hot as a motherfucker. Yeah, too. so I'm just sweating my so fucking hot. ass yeah, off. Yeah. Waiting, just waiting to go on. Yeah. Holy shit. So they, 
I got I got introduced by uh, Gary Gross, one of the announcers at uh, at the Pinocchio Stampede. Yeah. He announced my name, and and, and oh, I was so nervous right beforehand. But as soon as I started talking, all mo- most of the nerves, if not all, like went away. That was yeah. And I, and I just started doing it because I've had experience doing hip hop in front of people, uh, you know, announcing obviously, but not not in front of that big of a crowd. That's but crazy. but once I started talking and announcing the relay, it was amazing. But um, before before I get into my own personal thing, I gotta I gotta sh- give a shout out to Red Sky Events and K- Kimberly Breton for putting me on. Yeah, there's the crowd at yes, yeah. in. and um and so basically what I was announcing was a showcase of Indian relay. Um, for those that are watching, I can't believe you watch. I thank you that you're watching. <laughs> but uh, Indian relay uh in, in a in a quick low down one sentence it's three laps three horses one rider bareback the rider jumps off one horse jumps onto another and continues that c- continues the laps it's the most intense form of horse racing there is and uh we did a showcase at the Pinocchio stampede it was the, the craziest craziest <laughs> shit and yeah so that first day I was announcing it, and once I started announcing, it just all the nerves left. That's it immediately. As, yeah. soon, as, you, as soon as you're like, "Here we go," first, you know. But you got to understand this, this, this fucking arena, this stage. It, it's so big, man. Like, so it's it's a rodeo. Obviously, the Paroka right. Stampede is a world famous uh, stamp uh, rodeo. Mm-hmm. It's going on for eighty seven years, like you said. Yeah. And people come from around the world. So the guy from Australia was there. Yeah, people come from the states. Yeah, yeah. it's world renowned. World. So they have all yeah. the rodeo events, and we had the opportunity to showcase Indian relay there for the first time. And I guess the the guys at Pinocchio Stampede, uh, been contacted a million times by in, other Indian relay people. Really, I can't even say organizations, but people that do Indian relay. Right. And and they just turned them down, turned them down, turned them down. They contacted my colleague Kimberly Breton. Shout out to Kim. Yeah, yeah. And so we did a showcase of Lil Braves, and Lil Braves is uh, basically the future of Indian Relay. It's the kids doing next it. generation. It's the kids doing yeah. it. Yeah, the kids did this. Yeah, the crowd fucking loved it. No I kidding. hyped up this crowd. Yeah, I've never felt such hype. Yeah, in yeah. my bones that many before. People. Yeah, no kidding. absolutely. So that was the first. Like the first day was just so nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. But a- as soon as I got off, like we we did our showcase. We 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 did it, and it, it went really really well. I cr- I was like critiquing myself. Oh my god, I fucked up here. I fucked up there. Yeah, that's and good I, though. I, best and worst, good. best and worst critic, right? Yes. Yeah. And and I and I was and I was getting cr- uh, constructive criticism by some of my colleagues, which I feel like I should shout out. Uh, obviously Kimberly Breton, uh, Tammy Mahegan, uh, Alicia Arcand, um, Derek, uh, one of the C, uh, the C, the chief operating officers of it, um, and myself. Um, we made this happen, and it was fucking incredible that. That, that first day I did it. It was the second day that they were doing it. But like I said, their, their announcer the previous day was, mm-hmm. it was, it's, uh, he, he wasn't what they wanted. Right, right. Yeah, so so they, they brought me in a day early. That first day, holy shit, I'll never forget that. I'll never yeah. forget this whole entire weekend. Second day, we had the opportunity to have Wilton Littlechild, the international chief, yeah, of Treaty 6, 7, 8 to be there. I'm sure Caleb knows him, yeah. Of course, um, he he showed his support to us and came, and it was kind of a curveball to me as the announcer. And so when I announced, he came, he came out with the grand entry with all the teams and everything. And when I announced him, oh, I was a little shaky at the start because it was kind of a curveball, and I was freaking. Yeah, he's that, a... that second that was that was on Friday. Yeah, it was even more people than the first day. Unreal. There was no there was no seat to be had, bro. Oh, everything. Like oh, every seat, everybody in the seat. Yeah. yeah, it was wow. like sold out fucking crowd, yeah. and I'm like, holy shit! Wow. So it was a little shaky to start yeah. when I introduced him. He gave an amazing, amazing speech, and I felt quite honored actually to be standing next to him while he was giving this speech. 
you gotta understand we were we were all on the field right yeah yeah the, like, the main announcer the, the main announcer's up in the booth i'm standing on the field with a fucking mic yeah like like i'm doing right now right and i'm standing next to Will, little, little child yeah and he's giving this amazing speech wow was it based on the Indian relay, or is it just you know, yeah? Like no, no. He kind of he kind of gave a bit of bit oh, of wow. history yeah. of Indian relay as well. Oh, very cool. Thank the people he had a, a tremendous, tremendous speech, and the fact that he's in our corner um, for Red Sky events is is huge. Right. Like, I mean, the international chief of Treaty Six, Seven, and Eight yeah, is supporting us. Pretty massive. Yeah, it's huge. It's like huge recognition. Yes, you know, and yeah. people loved it on that second day. They they were they they went crazy. I so I, I cannot wait to like get a video of, of this so I can show you guys and right. so I can post it mm-hmm. and because is hype. To show it how it actually was, how it actually happened. How it yeah, actually yeah. happened, yeah. yeah. Um we had a we had basically two heats of in, of traditional Indian relay where they would go do a lap, jump off one horse, jump onto another, you know, do that which is like extreme it's fucking amazing like indian yeah. relays if it, it, it's the most extreme fucking horse racing you've ever seen yeah and then we had a little a little warrior race is what they call it where they 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 they, they start st- uh not mounted on the horse <laughs> they're all standing like it's a fucking like uh they're about to run like it's like a fucking relay race, like a like an olympic an event. actual yeah right right and they run to their horse they jump onto the horse and then they they do it. It's fucking intense. Yeah. Crowd loved it. Wow. I hyped it up. Yeah, that was the second day. So yesterday, Canada Day, I felt way more comfortable than I did the other two days because I had it under my under my belt. Right, you're more familiar with it. You kind of know the ropes a little more. And I and I personally, unlike the previous two days, I had the opportunity to, uh, excuse me, um give the history behind India and really yeah where it and came from how it where started. it came from yeah so so it ha- it, like it began generations ago in like when we used to hu- our gen- like when our people used to hunt buffalo mm-hmm. the buffalo had so much stamina and were so fast that we, we're trying to chase them on horses right well, we couldn't keep up with we them couldn't keep up with horses them. get tired first yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The horses would yeah, die out yeah. or patter out so you would hop off one horse and jump onto another and keep chasing those buffalo yeah yeah, Holy yeah. That's so that's really, where it started and then really and cool. then we and then over generations we made a sport out of it mm-hmm. and we're trying to bring that to the masses now yeah right absolutely and so that that third day canada day huge crowd mm-hmm. as well of course canada day as well rodeo oh my god mm-hmm. I, I i can't even believe i fucking did this but like i felt way more smooth like i was able to like freestyle it more on the third day Mm -hmm. talk about it more freely like i the first two days i had like a whole script written out right right yeah everything written out to like the word yeah but the third day i was i was able to just kind of like because i knew the teams and i knew what i was going to say so i was able to be relaxed yeah yeah and the crowd fucking loved it so apparently i can't wait to get a video of this yeah uh or post it post a video of what happened was there a lot of what, like coverage media coverage yeah there was that third oh, okay. day that third yeah, day yeah. uh there was like a specific media outlet that interviewed kim right and and covered our our whole event on the field on the track mm-hmm. oh, just a, a specific one yeah and i want to get a video of that and and post that but yeah it was the third day was just amazing because i was able to like act myself instead of wilton the little child the international chief um, explaining it to them, I was able to during during the whole races and the transition in between the races. I was able to give some history behind um, our people, why we do this, um, mm-hmm. our our kids, uh, the future of it, and it, it just went super super smooth yeah, that third cool. day, yeah. and it was just an incredible fucking experience. It was the stands were packed. Mm-hmm. There was not a seat to be had, yeah. and the future for Indian Relay is is so bright because of this event. Absolutely, because this is the first time they showcased uh, Indian Relay at a rodeo like at, of that size, of that of in the mag- history magnitude. Yeah, and this is also unreal. this is, that was the first time I ever went to the Pinocchio Stampede, and yeah. I was on the fucking track announcing. Yeah, no kidding. Like, how, how did how does that? Yeah, no shit. 
I can't. <sighs> what a trip, bro. That's, that's pretty wild. Brother. What a fucking trip. Like, I keep, every time I think about it, I'm like, did that actually happen? Yeah. It's like a dream, fever dream almost. You're like, what? Honestly, Still, still man. processing it a little bit too, yeah. Well, I know you had a, a, a similar experience recently. I did, I did yeah. Uh, yeah. With a big show yourself with Sled, your with your band, yeah, Tebby yeah. and the Heavy. Sled Island, yes. My, yeah, yeah. We, so yeah. T- tell me a little about, yeah. tell the audience a little yeah, bit about that. We, uh, so, yeah, there's a big shout out to Sled Island and the, and the curators that go do that festival down there because they do a fucking Where's Sled Island? Of a job. Sled Island's in Calgary, Alberta. What is it? Um, It's a huge music festival. It's over uh, three days, four days, sorry, five fucking days. Jesus. It's all one big long day when you're when you're there doing it. Yeah, but, trust uh, me, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we ended up opening up for the the main headliners at the festival entirely. The, the OC is a very very old school punk band. That uh, in case um, you don't know, Joel is a, a drummer, a really really good drummer, really tremendous cool. drummer, and uh, yeah, he 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 performed at your the biggest show of your career. My career, yeah, it was about thirteen hundred people, thirteen to fifteen hundred people. Yeah, say, at yeah. a theater. At a theater, at yeah. Palace Theater, which is uh, built in eighteen hundred, late eighteen hundreds. It's like a hundred twenty year old building. So who knows who could have went through there? Buddy Guy, all those old blues musicians. Yeah, way old, back. Like, dancers yeah. and shit. You know, like who knows who could have went through yeah. there? So, so yeah, we we we're, we're, we're sharing similar experiences yeah, in, in this like the same like time frame Ooh. here. Yeah, and at, like you said too, the nerves thing too. Like you get all nervous until like one, once you get up there, one, two, three, four. That's it. You know? It goes away. All the nerves go away. Yeah, absolutely. once you start talking. This 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 fucking arena, it's crazy. They had a huge jumbotron. Mm-hmm. Huge jumbotron. So and like stacks of speakers, speakers like it's galore. a fucking like concert. Yeah. Yeah. And once you get on the mic, you hear yourself and you're like, holy fuck. But you just you just have to go with it. You have to, no matter you just, what. You, the yeah. show must go on, the motherfucker. Show, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. can't you can't stall, you can't fuck it up. No. And there was a couple of fucks up fuck ups I did that that you know, I just you know, there wasn't any major fuck ups, no, which is a big timing thing or something or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just you know, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What an experience that we that we yeah. both had recently. Nice, and uh, yeah, so I I basically announced in front of fuck your eighteen hundred people. I announced in front of thirty thousand people. Just kidding, brother. <laughs> no, no, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, no. of uh, of doing that, yeah. and I'm proud of myself of um, actually doing this because. Mm-hmm. Until I see video proof, I don't think it actually happened. It, it it feels so fucking surreal. Yeah. Um. What a weekend. Fuck yeah. And I missed all. Like I was so busy with all of this. Mm-hmm. Like concentrating on making it as best I can. That's good. And and, and, yeah. as, and and as good and as perfect and as well timed and articulate as I as I possibly could. That I missed all this shit that happened with the Oilers. Because I was oh, yeah. out there, all the trades, yeah. all the swaps, all the, all the, all the signings. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll get into that real quick, because obviously we got the we got the oil swag yes. here. We got the McDavid here in the gazebo. This is freaking hilarious. I can't believe we're doing this gorilla style. Absolutely. Caleb's holding. Big big shout out to to Christy and and uh, yeah, big shout out to Christy and Nathan and Nathan, the compier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Producers on the on this yes. on this episode. Yeah. Um. Stage manager, production manager. Yes. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Setting manager. Yeah. No, no. It's yeah. uh, I, 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 they mean a lot to me, and uh, I really appreciate um, us making this work. But it's Caleb, and right now, as we're recording this right now, it's we're in this gazebo. We have some weather. Yeah, we got some, some weather. Yeah, it's uh, C- Caleb's holding a fucking umbrella over the camera and over, over the, the laptop. <laughs> This is something that yeah. will go down in the history yeah. books and this week in sports. Special edition. Yeah. <laughs> Special edition of this week in sports, yeah. man. Straight up. Oh my goodness. But yeah, like back to the oil though, man. Mm-hmm. We had to dump some salary, a bunch of salary, because we were right up against a cap. Yeah, almost, into, almost like so, to the dollar almost. Honestly, I loved Klim. I'm the, sad that he left. The real Klim Shady. We traded Klim. Obviously, everyone knows by the at this Reaper. point, except me. But uh, we 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 traded Klim Koskinen, the real Klim Katie. Yeah. And Yams, Tyler Yamamoto. Yeah. To Where? Chicago Where? Uh, for futures, future considerations. And I knew, didn't we? We talked about this before that Yams was probably going to go. We did we because did of his, his contract and yeah. how much it was, and yeah. what little he. I love him. Yeah. I loved him. Scrappy little guy. Yeah. I'm small too. I get it. 
but it's a business <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and you got to get rid of you got to get rid of the money right mm-hmm. so we traded them to chicago freed up a bunch of cap space Lots, like, and then we made we made a right. shit ton of signings for the minimum which is exactly what we need to do yeah and these are these are these aren't rookies or anything no they've the, been there the, the guys we the signed Mets. for the men's are, are are established nhl players yeah but then and and, and and they'll take the minimum to come to the oilers because they know because they know is right they fucking know they know ben gleason got him for two at uh seven seventy five thousand a year peanuts well, well, the minimum. Well, I mean, the, well, the minimum is seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. It is for the NHL. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, Hoffmeyer, one, for the men. Peterson, two years for the men. Kajula's coming back. Kajula's coming back for the men. We re-signed Yanmark for a million a year. Welcome These guys back. are taking pay cuts to come here. Yeah, to stay here, to play here. Yeah. Because they know what's up. Because they know what's up. They know what's up. Yes. The fucking cup. And Connor Brown, we're giving him four for one year, though. But he's an he's an established player, obviously, as, so. as all these guys are. But he's also a Stanley Cup champion. Yeah. Canadian boy, too. Yeah. Also played with Connor McDavid on the Erie Otters, which there you that go. could be a fucking crazy line. There you go. Double Connor. Yeah. Connor squared. But, like, what would you call it? Connor Connor. Connor Connor. Dude, give him the four mil. He, he's, he deserves it. Yeah. He's he missed his last season too, so he's probably hungry as fuck. Yeah, and yeah. and dude, he's a Stanley Cup champion. Yeah, he's got a ring. What do you want from him? Yeah, give him another one. Give him another one. Give right. him another one. There you go. There yes. you go. Yeah, yeah. But I love how I love the fact that these guys under, recognize real, recognize real. Yeah, and, and they recognize that we're on the cusp of the cup. Cusp we're right there. The we're about to flow over the, the cup right there. The cup. Hmm. We're right there. We can do it. We can. We can see we can, it. We can feel it. We can taste feel it. it. It's right there. It's tangible. It's yeah. like we're a year away. Yeah, we're a year away. Hey Zeb, hello. Hey, you want to you want to come uh, on the pod? Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, my nephew uh, Zeb is on the side there, and he's the cutest thing and known to man. He is. Yeah. Hey. And there's also a dog barking in the background. This is what we do when we do gorilla style. Yeah, there's, it's freaking hilarious. There's variables in play. Yes, there Rain is. Rain and dogs. So I, I this remember when, when we talked before, right? About the moves that we had to make, the minor moves. The minor, not a not a whole lot, just a little bit, yeah. a little bit of movement. Yeah, yeah. We did it. We did. I think we accomplished that. Absolutely, some great acquisitions. Yeah, we got, yeah. We got rid of some younger players that like for more established ones. Which, yeah. which I think too, like that's that's another reason why I think like you know Vegas and then those other teams, Seattle did so good because just like decent, good amount of B players or like you know what I mean yeah. that just make up a whole good team entirely. Yeah, which is that's well, you got to have depth, and these guys all bring depth. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, what I what I predicted happening happened. Yeah. Obviously, we have the big guys signed. Mm-hmm. We the only big move that we have to do next is uh, get Bouchard signed. Exactly, and then yeah. I think we're good. I think so. I think we're all right. I think the back end's been looking pretty good. I, I think we're okay. The better it has in a long time. I, I so. think we're okay. I think yeah. we're okay. Um. So yeah, looking forward to next year. It's still a couple months away. Mm-hmm. Couldn't come it, any sooner. Yeah, it's 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 uh, baseball season now, though. Yes. True. Yes. And the Jays just got fucking swept. Wow. By the socks. The brooms are out. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting in BPs in Pinocchio and after after one of the the shows, and uh, I, I asked the waiter to put on the Jays game. Yeah. And they're, they're busy as fucking there. Pinocchio's like bumping. So it's, it's the biggest really, time of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Of course. There, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he finally put on the game. First pitch I see at the game, or on, when the when the screen goes turns into the game, home run, Red Sox. Great, uh, here we go. Here we go. We ended up losing five zero that game. Ended up getting swept. We're now five and five in our last ten. We're fourth in the division. We're forty five and forty. Honestly, we're 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 past the halfway mark of the season. Mm-hmm. So we're probably looking at, like, if we're realistically talking about it, we're probably looking at a uh, a wild card spot. Really? 
well, like 45, yeah, at this point, 45 and 40. At this point, yeah. 45 and 40 is our oh, record. Shit. Yeah. We're, yeah, it's probably what we're, what we're looking at here. Mm-hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's turn this, this background around. We got the oil there. This is all natural mid, elements. Mid-section. Zeb, you want to get in this? Zeb, come. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Come here. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, this this is the cutest kid in the world. Uh You're already in there now. You're already <laughs> in it, brother. You're already in it. I love him with all my heart. It's uh the producer's uh, uh child and he's my the most nephew. amazing thing to to happen. And I love him so much. And shout out to Zebulin. Crowd, give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we wrap this up, mm-hmm. This week in sports history. Oh. This, this is a fucking, uh, this is a good one. So, on this day, July 1st, 2016. <laughs> the Edmonton Oilers signed Milan Lucic to a seven-year, $42 million what contract. The f- <laughs> What the go fuck yourself? He's oh going back to Boston. God. Going back to Boston. <laughs> Play that song, ship him back to Boston. <laughs> fuck. Holy. He's not even going to win a cup there. No, it's over in Boston. It's over in Boston. Which it, which is kind of sad because like I, I was never a hater of Boston Bruins. No, no, no. I like the they're way just, they played. I'm just a hater of uh, 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 the city. Uh, they're so Bruce spoiled. Bruce. Bart Marchand. Yeah. Well, Marchand. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, Marchand. Yeah. But, like, the, but they are spoiled. This You're right. very spoiled. New England. Celtics. Celtics. Fucking, yeah. Bruins, Bruins. had a run. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, they're spoiled. Spoiled team city for sure. Wait, wait. Uh, Bruins, Celtics, New England. What are we missing here? Missing uh, uh, the Red Sox. Red Sox, duh. Yeah. yeah like, won, won a couple absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, go back to Boston, Lucic. Yeah. We paid him $6 million a year for you, fuck all. You bum. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he, he will fuck you up. Yeah, though. he will. That was the only thing. Though. I, I heard a story though um, that uh, a buddy of mine uh, went to a event at Shaw Conference Center. Yeah, like one of those like raves or some shit. Right. And seen uh, Lucic and Nurse there just really? partying it up. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah. And Nurse, we paid nine million dollars a year. Oh, I don't know about that anyway, so. um, for what? what are we at, Caleb? We good? Yeah, I think yeah. that's good for for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I just going to end on the fact that uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Red Sky Events for allowing me to uh, announce for them at the Pinocchio Stampede. And it was the most incredible, one of the most incredible experiences of my life, the most incredible announcing gig I've ever done in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. That's sick, guys. Fuck yeah. Shout out. Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what everyone says. Like, it's, All the it's, way up. Yeah, yeah. it's going to yeah. get bigger and bigger. And it's just like, wake me up when this dream's over. That was episode whatever it is of This Week in Sports. I, if you're just watching this, I really appreciate you all. I, I can't believe people watch this. I just do it for practice and uh, just documenting my journey. And I have much love for everyone that supported me on this journey of sports broadcasting. Caleb, Joel, the producers, Christy, Nathan, Nate. Thank you very much for helping out. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> what an episode this was in this freaking yeah. gazebo. Wait, wait, is it going to take off? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bye. Well, my, my tent almost yeah. like, dude, I fucking, oh, we'll talk about it after yeah but yeah i no basically worries. camped out for my this big event that i announced for i was from, in a fucking from, tent from small beginnings man yeah. that's how it happens yeah that's, that's, that's how it builds yeah something for your book for sure thank you all and uh we'll check you in the next episode peace well, peace